Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to analyze Likert scale data into this table and this graph. As you can see here, so we have here are the statements and here, here are the uh, percentages of each uh, item, all right? So we can see that the majority of the respondents agree or strongly agree with statements like practice what has been taught etc and the, the same result is replicated in this chart as you can see or figure so we can see that strongly agree is in uh, uh, let's say yellow or orange color and agree is in uh, gray so you can see the statements in or the color or the orange and gray color or colors are the most uh, let's say salient ones so this way can you know can visually summarize this Likert scale all right so I would like to teach you how you can do this using Excel and also using spaces because spaces is going to help you do that and even report the results using Microsoft Office Word in this new table as you can see and summarizing everything um, worth nothing is that we can add the let's say the mean score or the median here but we should do that uh, manually you see so uh, let's just go to spaces and check how this has been done so here is the questionnaire we need to go to analyze and we go to descriptive statistics and frequencies remember we click frequencies I'm going to reset uh, by the way this is a uh, species version 28 so you may have different uh, maybe interface or user interface so I'm going to keep moving the items of uh, the Likert scale so I moved the fifth uh, I or the five items I'm, I'm going to move the sixth one all right so I'm going to click control and keep selecting each item separately till I select them all like this and I'm going to click this arrow so that I move them to the variables view and create EPA style table so this feature is available on uh, a species version 28 you can uh, contact me via one of my social media to get this version that is species version 28 in Mac or even uh, it's uh, windows like the one that I have uh, here so I'm going to check display frequency tables and in statistics we have uh, I'm not going to type uh, to select anything so I keep it like this maybe charts I can uh, select bar charts if I want them to be included within the frequencies or percentages I'm going to keep percentages but I'm not going to use them because charts will be generated for each item separately but I want them all to be put in one chart so this will be done manually you see so I'm going to click OK and wait for the output in the output window okay so it takes time to okay, so here is the output so here are the statements and what I need to do now is just uh, copy uh, all the statements by clicking control and selecting them and once I finish uh, I can just uh, uh, copy and paste them to uh, let's say uh, Microsoft Excel so I'm going to uh, right click and click copy and go to Excel workbook choose another uh, sheet and paste the tables here so I'm going to paste them like this so once pasted I'm going to uh, again uh, copy them and we can even go to another sheet and reverse them so I'm going to check this option okay reverse all right then what I can do is that I can just take all these uh, statements or items from here and copy them again 
so I'm just going to select them all together a right click copy go to Excel again another sheet and click paste you can keep source formatting or keep it like this I can even refine these statements or these statements using the replace button so I'm going to just uh, maybe remove uh, this one by click like this and select everything and click replace or replace everything so replace like this and then this one also just for a little bit of data cleaning so to speak and then replace all I can do this the rest manually okay anyway so I can just uh, do the rest manually etc uh, so although the video may take time but I'm showing you the whole process so that you can get a general idea on how you can do it yourself so anyway uh, we have here this uh, these statements so what I need to do next is that I'm going to go to the tables that I have copied from uh, uh, let's say spaces and I'm going to click uh, control and select the percentage because what I want to, to be included in the table is the per percentage if I want the frequency I can choose this one okay so I'm going to keep selecting okay selecting it till I finish all the items in the lacquered scale you can report missing data I mean later but what I'm concerned about here or with is the valid data so okay so I'm just going to so this takes a little bit of time just be patient and you can if you have many items this will uh, make it difficult but if you have just few few items this will make it easy for you to to get them done I mean the, the best way all right so once we keep selecting remember there are four because there is no neutral option that's why we keep uh, four point lacquered scale so i'm going to copy and go to another place like this and click paste and choose this paste option okay so the next step is that i'm going to keep counting from four and copy again or cut and paste so we so that we can have them a one by side by side just to copy them and paste them into uh, Microsoft Office Word you see so I'm going just to keep doing this we we'll just zoom a little bit for you to see alright so this takes a little bit of time as I said so because fortunately in spaces we don't have it done uh, let's say uh, automatically so we need to do it manually so this is the problem uh, if it were uh, let's say if uh, spaces were to consider this uh, problem it, it, it would be better I mean for, for it maybe this would be included in future versions uh, of how to analyze lacquered scale because uh, 
there is no straightforward way of doing it so we need to keep doing it uh, manually and this will add a lot of uh, pressure on the part of the researcher and make it difficult but uh, this basis provides the basic and excel uh, helps in uh, or with generating good charts even charts that can be edited later and can be taken along with the quantitative data and uh, then uh, you can even change the colors and yeah so you know, excel is better when it comes to charts but uh, spaces is really bad when it comes to visual representation of the data because you can just have charts uh, in pictures and you cannot edit them i mean if you make a mistake or a typo you need to do the whole analysis from the, be the beginning and this is very bad again for spaces but for excel no if you mistype some words you can just go back to them and you change them and everything changes just uh, automatically you see so this is uh, why excel is very good when it comes to data visualization you see so i advise you to use excel if you want to draw some really good uh, graphs but uh, spaces is straightforward because it gives you graphs without uh, bothering yourself with mini clicks but uh, they are not good i mean especially if you are doing some advanced research like phd or masters maybe um, species is not good for you when it comes to data visualization so i advise you to use uh, excel instead and, and this would uh, really be better and you are going to see how it is done uh, so we're almost there uh, so we just keep doing still need just one to finish okay so what I need to do next is that I'm going to copy all the statistics or the percentages and go to the new uh, sheet that I have created and paste them okay this way okay so now what I need to do next again is just copy everything and take it to Microsoft Office Word and paste uh, the percentages so till here and there are different ways of pasting okay so we need to choose which one is better of course not this one so keep text only so this is the best option to copy and paste the date or the percentages okay so once they are pasted I can just go and look for the headings uh, I can just copy them from the other sheet like this one and you can enter them manually because I already have them okay so once I enter it I can create a table this is of course optional but optional by inserting table like this and put in maybe the the title of the Likert scale so we have the second Likert scale teachers beliefs uh, regarding homework and I'm going to copy and paste this okay never mind I don't uh, whatever so I'm going just to keep this without adding it but I can edit it later that's why Excel is better when it comes to data visualization and editing so i'm going to select the whole table and go to insert and go to recommended charts all right recommended charts click on that and here we get a list of all the recommended charts so i can choose let's say this chart for instance 
okay so this one is uh, good i like it so i'm going to select it and click ok and here it is i can remove the title uh, because epa format does not require titles i can add percentages etc but i won't add them here so i'm just going to copy and paste so i'm going to go and paste the uh, let's say the other chart or uh, visual graphics into Microsoft Office Word by Control V. So I used Control C and Control V shortcuts for copying and pasting. So anyway, you can just adjust the margins of the chart like this. You can even change the colors, of course, uh, by double clicking and uh, going to fill and colors. But I won't do that. So I will just keep it standard. Okay, as I said, you can shrink uh, the table or the chart. You can edit it the way you like. So this is uh, how we can uh, analyze Likert scale using SPSS and Excel and draw charts and copy them into Microsoft Office Word. Of course, if you have questions or remarks or you need assistance with the uh, uh, this kind of stuff try to contact me via one of my social media I would be glad to respond to your questions or remarks or your suggestions because I also learn from you a lot of things and uh, I would like to thank you for your uh, uh, feedback in advance and see you in another tutorial bye for now